Hello and welcome to my video lecture on how to delete data uh, from your database table through your PHP application. So here, uh, here's our new application, right? Here's our new index HTML, which is simply uh, two links, right? One's going to list users and one's going to allow us to insert data, right? Um, so what we really want to do is when we list users, we want to have an ability here uh, to delete a user. That's pretty much what we want to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a, our PHP project. Uh, we're going to go to our list display page. And what we want to do here is we want to add in a button that's going to allow us uh, on any given row of this table um, to insert, um, uh, to delete data. So let's do this. We're going to need, uh, since we're adding a column, first thing we need is a header for that column. Uh, this is going to be a delete button, so we'll just make the header a delete. And then what we want to do is um, here in our table data, uh, we're going to need one more row. All right, so we've got our table data row. And uh, might as well put in our end tag before I forget. Uh, so there's our new table data row. And what we want to do is uh, here we want uh, to put in uh, some uh, submit type of inputs. Um, so uh, that means we need a form uh, in order to run this properly. So we're going to put a little form in here, believe it or not. Uh, so here we're going to have a form. Uh, the action is going to be um, to call a, a new form called uh, delete.php. Uh, uh, maybe we'll call it um, yeah, we'll just call it delete PHP. That works for me. Uh, so there's our delete uh, PHP, and we are going to call the uh, post method uh, when we do that. Ooh, equals uh, post. Um, and then, uh, and really, why it's giving me apostrophes instead of double quotes, I'm not sure, but that's okay. Um, and then we are going to uh, give it an ID, right? Uh, ID equals uh, delete uh, user form. Okay, so uh, there's our form. Uh, we're still in our uh, table data row. Uh, so we want to, um, as I said, we want to add uh, some inputs here. So one of the tricky things we're going to do uh, is we're going to use uh, some hidden, uh, an, a hidden input. Um, so we're going to make the type equal to hidden. Uh, so we can't see it. Uh, we want to make the name uh, to be equal to uh, user ID. We'll just leave it as user ID. This way it's distinguished from user info ID, which is the name of the, the column. Uh, we don't want them exactly the same. That'll just get uh, weird. Um, and then uh, we want to set it uh, to have a value. So the value of this is going to be the value um, of the user ID. Now we've already done that, right? We're already displaying that. So the value is going to equal, and then in between the equal signs, we're going to put in our PHP echo. So that the value associated with this hidden control, because we don't need to display it, the value of that hidden control is going to be the user uh, info ID for this user. So what we're going to do is when we click the button that's going to be in this column, it's going to delete that user info, uh, that user info ID record uh, from the database. So um, we're not done yet. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add in uh, another input because here we need an actual button to click. So the other one was hidden, so that's not going to work. Um, so this is going to be type uh, submit because that's going to submit our form for us. Um, and then, you know, value, if I can spell, value equals delete. 
Um, so this is gonna run, right? And now we're gonna get a list of users uh, and we're gonna have a delete button. So now what we have to do is we have to set up this delete PHP file. Uh, so let's do that quickly. Uh, we'll save that, uh, right click on source files, new, I need a PHP file. Uh, I'm gonna call it delete.php. Gonna save it. So now I'm gonna close our PHP tag, right? And we are going to copy a little bit of code out, right? So we're gonna need pretty much the same information we need there, here. So we're gonna require once our database PHP file, right? So that's gonna open up our pipe. But now our query is gonna be delete from user info. I'm gonna slip in a where clause. Um, where, oh, but we also need um, our post array. So we have to get the, uh, the user uh, info ID out of the post array. So this is gonna be user ID and equal whatever comes out of our post array. And that should be uh, user ID. Semicolon and stay with our naming convention, PST user ID. So now that's the value that we're getting out of our post array. And we are going to include that here. Uh, and again, since I'm using double quotes, it'll do the substitution for me. So PHT underscore user ID. Um, from user info where user info ID equals, oh, and I don't need these single quotes because user ID is going to be numeric. Um, and if we try to run that uh, using textual data, it might and it might not. Um, so here we're going to uh, run our SQL. So our SQL is going to delete from our user ID. Um, right. So we've got our, we're gathering the data from our post array. We're bringing in our uh, database file. We're executing it. And now what we want to do is we basically uh, want to go back to our list. Um, and what was our, what was our list? So list display.php. So we're just going to include list display of PHP, which again should run again and uh, should uh, display the data over again without this record in it. Um, and in this case, unfortunately, we only have one record. So let's do this kind of quickly. So I'm going to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another user. Um, so this is going to be count Dracula Drac at darkness.com uh, zero, 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 and then one, 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 two, 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 oh, one dash six, six, six dash seven, 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 seven. I'm going to click to insert. Um, okay, so can't insert my record at the moment. So I'm going to go back home. We'll get back to Count Dracula in a minute. We're going to list our users. And I can't see my delete button either. Oh, geez. Um, why can't I see my delete button? If I go back to my index, uh, my list display. Got one hidden. Got a form action. Post. Did I not get to close that? Fantastic. Right, so that ends my form. I've got my inputs. Uh, second, let me save that. See if I can get that to work. List users still don't have my delete button. Uh, don't you hate it? Okay. Drive you out of your mind. So, form, my 
action. Right, my ID. Delete the user form. Um, Tell me, let's track where I am. I like to look in the text to find out what I'm doing wrong. Nice form action, delete PHP, which it should call that form. We got our input. Input is ended. And we've got an input type submit. And there is no reason for that not to, oh, yep, That's exactly what it was. Um, so we've got our input, right, so I have to close that. Or do I? Yep, so I'm closing that input. Why did I close this input? I think I close this input. That's why I'm not see I'm forgetting to close everything. Uh, type value. Equals that. Not that. Alright, so sorry for the uh, impromptu um, Okay. So not too crazy. But hopefully, uh, when we list users, I finally have a delete button, which is nice. And I'm going to delete myself. Uh, past user ID. Nice. All right, so hold on a second. Okay. Refresh this. Oh, we'll return home. List my users. So there is my... Past. Ray, ray, ray. That's going to be in my delete. Past. Fantastic. Okay, so it's PST. Oh my goodness. All right, so what are you going to do? It takes a little while. So I'm going to list my users. I'm going to try to delete me, and I delete it out. I go back. And I browse my table, and it's an empty result set. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I had to do uh, a little quick uh, troubleshooting to try to figure out where I made mistakes in my code. And that's what made this last for 13 minutes. So now that you know how to delete and use your delete PHP file and uh, add in uh, your delete button to do that, uh, hopefully you'll be able to use this in your code and not run into as many issues as I just did.